So I was supposed to die in 06 with the third film when they killed off the main character. I mean, where could you possibly go after that? Answer? Flashbacks on flashbacks on flashbacks. Then it was supposed to die in Obnoxious 3D with the final chapter, but then they brought it back, first with a soft reboot and now with a semi-hard reboot. I'm sure the hard reboot is just around the corner, prepare your behinds. But despite that, I do kinda like the series, even if it has just one watchable film in it. I never said this thing was great, but I do love how simple it is, especially compared to where the series would go. You have two men chained to a bathroom talking about an insane person who has kidnapped them. One of them ends up sawing his foot off, which thankfully wasn't shown to us because of budget, yet it's still such an insane scene, it caused controversy and the film got the reputation of being torture porn, the reincarnation of the video nasties. But I don't think that's entirely fair, I think that there's a different subgenre that this one's one of the trailblazers for, escape room horror. I'm pretty sure that the film is kinda the spiritual successor to an indie Canuck movie called The Cube, as in it too a mysterious villain has trapped people into a confined space and forced them to go through deadly tasks. And yes, it is an actual subgenre, and just like with every genre, there are the inventors, the popularizers, the generic bargain bins, the ones that try to elevate the material, the anime one, and the generic bargain bins. Backface. I'm not sure how the guy got electrocuted since I don't see anything to connect the circuit with, or how he didn't drown at the beginning of the film, but at the end of the film there's a twist and it seems really cool at first, especially with the iconic soundtrack playing in the back, but when you actually stop to think about it you realize it's not that good of a twist. Not really. I mean the killer was the guy lying on the floor, who also happens to be the cancer patient you see in the background of one of the flashbacks. You gotta be kidding me. We had no indication that these two were the same guy, nor did we ever get a chance to get to know his character before the reveal, so him ending up being the killer is just out of the left field. Jigsaw might as well have been Mr. Bean, maybe you could have a scene where the doctor is watching one of the episodes as a so-called foreshadowing. But the film is really intense and inspiring as to how you can stretch your budget if you get creative. There were many scenes that would be filmed traditionally, but since they were running low on money, they were replaced by either fast-paced cuts, camera spins or a photo slide show, yet it's all edited in a way that it doesn't seem cheap. And it all fits the story and it also is really claustrophobic. The film might be 1.2 million, but it looks at least like 6. That's my rating for the movie, 6. Check out my other video, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, thanks.